The Great Wall is one of the signature dive sites of the Cayman Islands. About 100 feet from shore, a sheer wall plunges over 1,000 feet straight down. On the dive deck of Cayman Aggressor just above us, a 90-year-old living legend straps on his scuba gear, grabs a camera, and drops in right on top of it. We've come to the Caymans to join our dear old friend and mentor, Stan Waterman, for what he says will be his final dive trip after a career of over a half century of making films under the sea. The expedition will be aboard Cayman Aggressor 4, a posh liveaboard with which Waterman has a long history. There's a motley looking bunch of guests here. Who are these people? The coral reef already assumes a spectacular complexion at night, but now modern lighting technology allows us to see certain corals in, well, a different light. We turn the camera toward a southern stingray and play matador. The vessel once known as Patrol Vessel 356 began life in the USSR and was part of the Soviet fleet stationed in Cuba during the Cold War. Her forward guns have sprouted new barrels in the form of sponges, which now give them the look of a comical muzzle blast. The bars blocking an entrance provoke visions of a forgotten gulag. The ultraviolet lights of Wayne Hassan's camera system cast an eerie pall over the ship, while Wayne Brown's lights bathe it in a more appropriate red and an unsteady slipper lobster shows us that maybe it's discovered a hidden stash of leftover vodka. Toward the end of the dive, Wayne Hassan, Stan, and I meet at the propeller. Something catches Wayne's eye, a pair of spotted eagle rays passing by in formation, as though they're giving their old friend a final salute, a last hurrah. <laughs> 